When your name comes up, I find that people... These days, when Michael Vick sits down to talk about his life over the past few years, he's looking back at a series of extremes, from star quarterback to reviled dogfighter. He personally strangled, drowned, and electrocuted dogs. To comeback kid, to mentor. That last one is a brand new role for him. By his own admission, Vic had no interest in mentoring before, but now spends much of his free time working with the Humane Society of the U.S. and talking to students about the ills of dogfighting. So tell me why why you're doing this, why you come out and speak to these students. If I can help, uh, you know, five or six kids daily, then I'm I'm playing my position, uh, you know, as a positive role model in, in, in our society. You know there are cynics who are saying you're doing this because the courts are making you or because you're trying to, you know, rehabilitate your public in- image. What do you say to those who don't think this is genuine? Well, first off, the court uh, doesn't make it an obligation for me to go out and speak. Um, it doesn't make it an obligation for me to uh, work with the Humane Society. It's not for any, any, any personal benefit. It's to help others. What convinced you that this wasn't just to drum up good publicity? Many things convinced us. Um, His message, first of all, is very open. I think it's important also to realize that he approached us. When I was younger, I got caught up in dogfighting. That's what we did. We did it at our own own leisure. We wasn't doing anything. Something to do. I've heard that you're someone who loves animals. Can you yeah. can you describe what that the mindset is like with someone who loves animals still allows them to be treated in that way? Uh, and, you know, I hate to use our culture as an excuse, but um, it, it is what it is, and that's what happened, and that's the way I thought uh, about it growing up, that is, this is something we do. I love animals. I love, uh, I love dogs. I love uh, birds. I love all types of animals. But this was just the way we was brought up. So was there anything intrinsically that told you this isn't right? No, it was nothing that ever told me it wasn't right. Nobody who uh, ever told me that it was the wrong thing to do. Now, you're not allowed to own dogs right now. Would would you like to get another dog in the future? I would love to have another dog in the future. Um, You know, I think it would be uh, a big step for me uh, in in the rehabilitation process. I, I think just to... You know, have a, a pet in my household and to show people that I, I genuinely care and my love and my passion for animals, I think it'll be, I think it'll be outstanding. And, uh, you know, if I ever have the opportunity again, then, uh, you know, I won't, t- I'll never take it for granted. The dogs that were taken from the kennels, almost all of them were rescued. These dogs lived their entire life in nothing but trauma. Do you ever think about the dogs? I mean, I, I think about the dogs, and I think about uh, the position that I was going to put them in. Those dogs were blessed with happy homes and and uh, opportunity to go live a healthy life uh, instead of uh, being put in the ring and, and fought. So, uh, you know, that's what I think about. What about you as a person? Do you think this whole situation has made you a better person and a better player? This whole this entire situation has changed my life. Uh, dramatically. Uh, without going to prison, I would have never changed as an individual and as, as a person. And coming out of prison, I, can't, I, I was a totally different person. Better player, uh, better person, uh, you know, more patient, uh, more persistent, you know, in so many ways. Uh, thank God for changing my life and, 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 and keeping me, uh, you know, keep me healthy and, 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 and me on the path to where I can redeem myself and, uh, you know, make a great comeback. What would Mike Vick 2010 say to Mike Vick 2006? Uh, that Mike probably wouldn't listen to nothing that I had to say, you know, so I think it would be like uh, talking to the wall. So uh, the conversation probably I wouldn't last no more than two minutes because, you know, the old Mike probably would have walked away. And the new Mike? Open, honest.